Hey everyone, today we'll be installing this FunZippa DH integrated chain guide and bash guard on this 2020 Santa Cruz 5010. So before we get started with the install, let's take a look at everything that comes in the box with it. Of course, we have the chain guide itself with the bash guard on the bottom. The hardware included suits most applications, but you aren't going to need all of it. So we have here a stack of six 2 mil washers, six 1 mil washers, three 10 millimeter bolts, and three 16 millimeter bolts. Now this piece here, I'm not going to necessarily use this one. That will only be used if your frame does not have ISCG05 mounting points. You would have to disassemble partially the bottom bracket and sandwich that piece between the bottom bracket and the frame for mounting. Now generally most frames that would uh, suit a riding style to even have this on the bike will most likely have the ISCG05 mounts already installed from the manufacturer. Now the instruction guide that it comes with is not exactly the most clear. Uh, but it does have really nice happy faces and sad faces. That being said, let's go ahead with the actual installation. Now, I've already pre-loosened the crank arm bolt. It is on pretty snug, as from SRAM's manufacturing specs, they state 40 foot-pounds. So, you might need a breaker bar, or just really put some weight into it. So, we'll just take that off and set that aside for right now. Now, we'll take the chain guide and just put it up to the frame, take a look at the spacers that we're going to need. We're definitely going to need some because up here it's actually touching the rear swing arm. That definitely is not going to work for us. Now I have personally already pre-measured this out and I'm going to be using the 16 millimeter bolts and two of the two millimeter bolts on each of them. Before we actually get into installing this piece though, I do want to point out these four millimeter bolts right here and here, loosen those off. This one actually, take it all the way out, the one up on the top. You're going to need to do that to open the chain cage. Now, be careful, because on the back side, there is this little red aluminum retainer. It's in a slotted groove, but when it's all the way up, it will actually come out. Now, we open the piece up, and let's just slide it down a bit, making sure that that retainer is still in its groove. And for now, I'll just put the bolt in, just to hold everything in place. Now, I'll take two of my washers one of my bolts I find it's easiest to do it on the top one first and then just thread that in ever so slightly by hand making sure not to cross thread anything Now, we'll do another one this is where you can take a little bit of finesse, especially if you're using multiple washers, just so that they don't slip and fall down. As you can see, this is definitely a do-it-yourselfer job. No need to necessarily bring it into a bike shop to have somebody install this, if you feel capable. Otherwise, I'm sure any local bike shop will be more than willing to install it for you. This is going to be the hardest one. But no problem. And we're good. Now for the alignment, you want this to be approximately on an 11 o'clock position. With this specific installation here, the top bolt is actually essentially all the way over to the right hand side of that slotted groove. And we'll just snug these up. Now we'll go around. 
around and do a final tighten on them. That should actually just suffice right there. Now let's get the chain back on. Of course. Lining up the crank arm. And then tightening our center bolt. I'm going to leave it just hand tight, just for now. There we go. Now, it's easy to check your alignment from the cog or the jockey wheel in the bottom to your chain ring right here. That's really what the washers are for. We'll just be to make sure that everything is nicely lined up together. Now this does suit a 32 to 38 tooth chain ring. This one that I have on here right now is a 32. So we can actually just slide this down as far as it'll go. So now we'll close up the chain guide up here. Snap that together and tighten it down. don't have to go too crazy tight on it. Now this one, you can slide that up as far as you need. With the 32 tooth chain ring on here, you can bring it up pretty far. If you've got a 38, of course, it'll be most of the way down. So we'll just kind of put it partially on here. Excellent. Now, we can do tighten on here. You can torque it on as well with a torque wrench if you have one. Otherwise, you can of course just put a good amount of force on it. And there you have it. The fun Zippa DH integrated chain guide and bash guard installed. Hope this helps anybody else that was trying to figure out the installation of it or even just someone lo looking for a fun video of installing a fun chain guide. Thank you very much everybody. Have yourself a fantastic day.